Anybody come to you and they say, look, bro, like your shit, I'm gonna fuck with you. You know what I mean? He go 100 mil, taxes out of this shit, 20 mil, 80 yours. You can only do produce or write. 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 It's easy. I'm produce. Oh, okay. Okay, you see I'm that. Good. That's smart, though. That's smart. Yeah, yeah. I'm produce. Because so much comes with that. Yeah. Let's see what Kanye did. Oh, Bro, this yeah. nigga that took over like <laughs> so, this motherfucker that took over the game, man. He only go get so far being in front of the mic. And, and right now, I look at Soldier Boy as like the evil genius. Like this motherfucker that cornered every market of the so-called game, bro. Video games, rap, vi you know anything you think of, he got his hand in that shit already. Y'all motherfuckers, I'm talking about young people in general. Y'all do some shit, bro. That that we scared of. I can't do that shit no more. I ain't I ain't I ain't got the vigor and shit in me. I want to, but then I be trying to be cautious. So this next joint, mm, one man, Ellie Mom. It's called Omni. Oh, right oh, 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 That's one man, Ellie Mom. Name of that joint is called Omni. Illy. Yo, man, what's the background that joint right there, bro? Man, I'm trying to remember where I recorded this <laughs> um, I think I recorded this in Chicago. Okay. Yeah, this is one of them that just snuck through the cracks. Yeah. yeah, I was just on YouTube. I think I was with one of my other homies. And I honestly, I don't think he was trying to get on it. So I was like, I just did it by myself, but that's all that was. I was still in that beat. Yeah. Yeah. It just came naturally. Yeah. 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 Part is put out to me. Okay. Pussy feels like the movie way. Hey, let me tell y'all something. Lyrics are important. Lyrics yeah. are fucking important. Yeah. So for everybody, this no one shot listen to this shit. Think about it. How the fuck this shit feel? Mmm. Like the Yuki way we on the inside. And it was crazy. God damn. Yeah. Milky, Milky, Milky. 
Yeah. <laughs> it was some inspiration behind that one, goddamn it. Fuck that. Shout out to Young Hustle, man. Um, <laughs> so, the inspiration behind that, I ain't gonna lie. We was in Atlanta, actually. Okay, okay. We, okay. That, so we was in Atlanta. You know, we was at the hotel we had, and we was just going through beats or whatever. Yeah. You know, I had the studio set up in the room, the hotel. And, uh, that was one of the beats I picked up. Like, that was one of the beats I picked up. Like, that was one of the beats I picked up. Too high. We was high, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, we too high. They're like, I'm floating on my mom. And then I just did the hood. And then he just kind of just topped it off. He yeah. first. That's dope. How long did it take? How long did it take you to record that joint? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. That was quick. That was like, he did his verse like right then the right there. He did okay. his verse. He did his verse, then he left out the room and he went and did whatever he did. Damn. And I was just mixing the song down. And In the hotel room? Yeah, I'm just mixing down by myself. Just, That's what's up. Yeah. Talk about talk about that process of doing it, because people don't really understand um, actually what goes into like you put your vocals down. I ain't saying give all the secrets away, but I know it's procedures. It's like shit you got to do with that shit. Yeah, really, you just got to focus on that I know outside distractions. Yeah, right. Just focus in, just really listen to the music. Right. I might mute the beat and just listen to the vocals only. Right. Like I try to really get in there. So you, you mix this joint? Yeah, I mix mean, okay. it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Man, that's, that's, that's the talent. That's you a know what I'm saying? That's a good. Like, like you know how hard it is to pick that shit up? Man, look. Then you go on, on top of that shit and complicate the shit and put your own shit on. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess if you keep hearing other people, right? And you hear, if you deal with, let me ask you this. I, I got to ask this question. If you deal with, let's say, eight to ten really good artists, R&B, they sing. They, you know, you got some rappers. You got one dude that do some, some rock shit. Or, you know, whatever the fuck he's yeah, into. Right? Yeah, you got like ten. 10 different artists. Do you think at that point, the shit that you've been holding back, do you like the dream and all these producers that have produced for years and then they finally come to the forefront, do you think it's a point that they're like, man, all these motherfuckers, I got some shit that's better than all of them. Do you think that's why the producers be like after so long, they just come from behind the shit because the shit, you know, you, like I say, you're listening to all of these different artists that come in and shit. Boom, and then after 10 years of having on the tape, you used to be like, man, fuck. Man, shit, man. Like, this shit probably sound better than everybody's shit. I, do it be like. Nah, nah, man, nah. It ain't gonna work like that. I ain't gonna lie. When you introduce it, it's like, you usually, that's just what you do. You always yeah. try to go. Yeah. But if you can rap, that's okay. a bonus. Yeah. Not everybody, not every producer just come. I've been seeing a lot of producers. Yeah. I ain't gonna say nothing. I've been seeing a lot of producers that have tried. It's all the time it is. It didn't work out for them. Swizzle, swizzle his ass right on the bike. DJ Kelly learned fast. Like, I don't think Kelly ever tried to see. I can dream. A lot of people tried to see. I can dream. A lot of people tried to see. It ain't your thing. At the time. Because I feel like if right. anybody really work hard at something, you can make it your thing. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you learn from your mistakes. But my, my question for you is, being, being a producer and, and, and an MC, how important is it for you to have that, that time away from everybody? You know what I'm saying? Without those distractions. I ain't gonna lie. I be beating myself up so much about it because uh, distractions yeah. come easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, mm. it's the ones that really miss discipline, you know. Yeah. Discipline. That's what it is. Yeah. If you really get that discipline, a lot of people don't have it. And that's what separates some from others. This one, man, Ellie Mall, and y'all listen to it on it's the Shits Radio. It's on me. Radio Chicago. Featuring my boy, Hustle Money. Shout out Hustle Money. Yeah, we got a project we're actually working on. It's coming out soon. Okay. okay. So just be on the lookout for that. That's for sure. What's up, man? Every morning, we're doing this. 420. Y'all get into it. Smoke up. It's the shit.